video is on whole numbers being divided by unit fractions. When you have a whole number divided by unit fraction, your quotient will be larger than your dividend of 4. And the reason for that is you are dividing by a number that's less than 1. To make more sense of this, let's put this into a story problem. Let's pretend we have four pizzas, that's your dividend, and each pizza is divided into thirds. So let's divide each pizza into thirds. How many slices of pizza do we have? Well, four pizzas divided into thirds. How many slices of pizza do we have? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we have 12 pieces of pizza. And that story problem would match this uh, mathematical problem right here. So let's do some different ways on how this is done. Again, our first way will be very similar to that. We'll use a model. This time we'll use a bar. And since your dividend is 4, let's divide this bar into 4 equal pieces. And now we need to divide each piece into thirds. So let's cut each piece into thirds. And your quotient will be the number of pieces that you have, or the number of rectangles you have. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 rectangles. Therefore, your quotient is 12. You can also do this using um, some math. In fact, probably the the most foolproof way to do this would be taking 4 divided by 1 third and using its reciprocal to solve this problem. When you use a reciprocal, you always use a reciprocal on the divisor. So we need to take 1 third and find its reciprocal. The reciprocal of 1 third is 3 over 1. You basically just flip the fraction. And now you need to find the opposite of the division sign and that is a multiplication sign, and then bring your 4 straight down. To multiply fractions, now we multiply across the top and bottom, but there's nothing on the bottom, so let's make this 4 over 1. Multiply across the top, 4 times 3 is 12, 1 times 1 on the bottom is 1, we get 12 over 1, which equals 12. So that's using the reciprocal to solve this problem. The last way is actually the easiest but this only works with unit fractions in the divisor. So make sure you have unit fractions. And again, a unit fraction is a fraction with a numerator of 1. So we have 4 being divided by 1 third. The easiest way, if you have a unit fraction like 1 third in the divisor spot, is just multiply your whole number times your denominator. 4 times 3, and you'll get 12. That will work every time, as long as your unit fraction is in the divisor spot. Any way you do this problem, you'll get 12. Realize there's more than one way to do a math problem. Whichever way works for you, works for me. Thank you for watching my video on whole numbers divided by unit fractions.